there. Bon appetit, Julia Child. Except it's coffee. She always drank wine. Okay, so today, the other day I made bone flesh and cartilage salve. Now I'm going to make the um, decoction. This is to be used externally. This is probably one of the most important formulas you could ever make and always, always have it on hand for emergencies. If you have Dr. Christopher's book, good. It's on page 592. I've been making this for over 25 years. This is an amazing formula. I first used it on racehorses with their um, blown suspensory ligaments, um, it, broken bones, it didn't matter. It'll fix it. I used it recently. Um, the dog tore into the goat and I just put some right on her behind and it healed up nicely. Knits the tissues together. You can take it internally too. I have a tincture for that or you can um, take the glycerate. This will be a glycerate. So we'll make a decoction. We're gonna uh, simmer down the herbs and then strain it off and add glycerin. But this is an aid for malfunction in the bone, the flesh, or the cartilage. So think of your uh, torn rotator cuffs, your torn knees. Excellent for varicose veins because it's very high in calcium. Sprains, curvature of the spine, scoliosis. Tremors, skin eruptions, pulled muscles, blood clots, calcium spurs. How about those bone spurs on your heels or in your spine? This is a specific for the, this is when you are not absorbing um, either enough calcium or you're taking the wrong type of calcium and your body's not absorbing it. So here's the recipe, six parts of oak bark. So, and this is my part. It's, this is like a dessert spoon, but I'm gonna use this and I'm probably gonna use a little over a gallon of distilled water. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Now these are powdered, so six of those dessert spoons is gonna be very generous, but I like to make things strong. All right, you can wipe off your spoon in the meantime. Now we have three parts of marshmallow root. White oak bark, very high in calcium, very astringent, tightens and tones all of the tissues. Excellent for um, thrush of any kind. We have three parts of marshmallow root. One, two, three. You don't have to measure, be exact. Just throw it in the pot. Three parts of mullen. I have somewhere here. All right, so this is mullen that I picked out of my field and I'm gonna stick my hand in here. So one, and you have to add a little more because powdering really reduces it down. And so it would take a lot more of this herb too. So I've got three generous clumps there. And maybe I better go pick some more before it all dies out. Now, Two parts wormwood. I don't have wormwood, it's on order. So I am going to, and in this recipe, wormwood is an antiseptic and prevents putrefaction. So I'm gonna substitute, oops, wrong one. I'm gonna substitute some um, echinacea root because that will also astringe. It's an antiseptic, it will tone the tissues, two parts. Two parts. All right. Always know what you can substitute if you don't have it on hand. The recipe doesn't have to be exact. Next, we have one part of lobelia. Here is my lobelia. This is an antispasmodic, a nervine, calms everything down, kind of directs the other herbs, tells them what to do. Master General there. We have one part of skull cap, and I probably just have enough here. This is also a nervine, feeds the nerves. 
so you don't have pain. So one part skull cap. Now we have six parts of comfrey root. Um, where's my comfrey? Oh, it's right in front of me. Comfrey root, high in calcium. This comfrey root and aloe are cell proliferators. They create new cell growth. This is what knits the tissues together so rapidly. So we have six parts of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And actually, um, I prefer not to use powdered herbs most of the time because when you strain it off, it's difficult to get all that sediment out of the bottom but I will use what I have. Um, three parts walnut bark or leaves. Hey, walnut bark. Picked it off the tree, up the road. So we have three parts. So it's not crushed. So one, we're gonna be generous because we can pick more leaves. Two, three parts. Walnut also prevents putrefaction. All of these herbs are made to put on open wounds. So it, it, they're antiseptic, they stop putrefaction, they're antibacterial, antifungal. Walnut especially is an antifungal. Will stop any sort of infection. So if you have an open, gaping, bleeding wound, you can pour it right on and then bandage it up and compress the tissues together and they will knit together very nicely. Now we have three parts of gravel root. I am out of gravel root. So I have one part here. I'm just gonna dump that in. But I'm gonna substitute hydrangea root. Gravel root removes any excess calcium that might be there, such as bone spurs, It'll remove uh, gravel internally in the kidneys, in the uh, gallbladder. So I'm gonna use hydrangea root, which is very similar. Also for open wounds and stops any sort of infection. All right, now I'm gonna add one gallon distilled water Always use distilled water because it's dead, empty water. So you are going to extract more of your medicinal properties and your nutrients from the herbs into the water. So there's one gallon and it almost comes to the top. And I'm just gonna add a little more. Because once you cook it down and then reduce it, you're gonna end up with a lot less. So I wanna end up with a little, because I'm gonna reduce it down. So one gallon, and when I say reduce down, you don't boil it, you simmer it. Simmer it for an hour. Um, you simmer it down to two quarts and add one pint of glycerin, vegetable glycerin. And it will be preserved for, in the refrigerator, keep it in the refrigerator, that's what I do. It'll be preserved for quite a long time. Now, um, I'm gonna set this on the stove and simmer it down for about a half an hour. I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna let it sit overnight. Then tomorrow, I will strain it off and reduce it down to my two quarts. Then I will add my one pint of glycerin and I will bottle it, label it, and refrigerate it. This is this, I, a lot of this is used for people who have broken their bones. You want to soak a cloth in the liquid, wrap it around that um, injured part, whether it's the bones or the, the foot, the ankle, the knee, it doesn't matter where the injury is. You wrap it around there, wrap plastic around it, bandage it. Sleep on it overnight, keep it on all day if you have to. Um, 
and do it until it's healed, night after night, day after day. If it's your foot, I always recommend put it on that foot overnight and let it do its magic overnight. You will be amazed at how the pain and the inflammation leave and the healing is sped up because God has everything for the healing of your body. So that's our bone, flesh, and cartilage. I always have it here at Wendy's Wellness. I have the glycerin, the tincture, and the salve. Everything for the repair. And share this video. Make it yourself. If you need any of the ingredients, come on down. I can ship it to you too. Just message me. Goodbye and have a blessed day.